More fallout tonight over a viral video that sparked outrage involving the son of Danny Breer, the interim general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers. A police investigation is now underway while the young man involved apologizes. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has the latest. It was this past Saturday at a nightclub in Erie, Pennsylvania. Carson Briere is in the white hat. The other man in the gray cap also appears to be involved. Once Carson gets out of the wheelchair, the unknown male starts to push it towards the stairs. Then Carson sends it barreling over the edge. It's an incident that first surfaced on Twitter and has prompted swift backlash. One of the people who commented, Julia Zakowski, wrote, I just can't stomach the thought of this kid getting away with it. Well, today the video also triggered prompt responses from both Carson and his father, former Philadelphia Flyer star Danny Briere, who's serving as the team's interim general manager. Carson said in his statement, quote, I am deeply sorry for my behavior on Saturday. There is no excuse for my actions, and I will do whatever I can to make up for this serious lack of judgment. His dad, Danny, wrote, I was shocked to see Carson's actions in the video that was shared on social media yesterday. They are inexcusable and run completely counter to our family's values of treating people with respect. At this point, it's unknown who the other man is, but the incident is now under investigation by the Erie, Pennsylvania Police Department. Briere attends Mercyhurst University, located in Erie, and is listed on the university men's hockey team website as a center. Well, the university responded to the incident, saying in part, the actions displayed in the video make our hearts heavy and fall short of our mercy belief in the inherent dignity of each person. We pray for and are in solidarity with the victim and all persons with disabilities who rightfully find actions like this to be deeply offensive. Okay, now at this point, we do not know who that wheelchair belongs to or how much damage was done to it, but we do know how expensive they can be. From our reporting in South Philadelphia, Bob Brooks, Channel 6, Action News.